then, okay, so today's video is kind of a bit of a follow on from my previous video. If you haven't seen that, please go and watch that first. I'll leave a link in the description box below. It was my 200th video. Um, so for today's video, I thought I'd kind of do a little bit of a follow on, um, which is going to be the YouTube show, sh sh <laughs> YouTube show and tell tag. Um, which Soella created actually and um, I wanted to do this like way before Christmas and um, but also then I did vlogmas and stuff and I haven't had a chance to sit down and film this so yes that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I thought I'd do this tag um, because you know you may be new to my channel and you may not know a lot about me. I thought I'd kind of do this tag for you to get to know me a bit better and also my YouTube a bit better and yeah. Um, you may know a couple of these answers already, but um, some of them I know you definitely won't know, so yes. Um, I will leave all the questions in the description box below if you do want to do this tag, but I would like to say thank you to Zoe for creating this tag. I know she will probably be never, ever, ever watching this video, but in the very, very, very slim chance, thank you Zoe for creating this tag, and I love watching her video on it, so... Yes, I thought I would do it because I have all the questions on my phone, so I'm just going to start. Also, yes, I have a Sug Life pop socket. Um, right, number one. Um, why and when did you start YouTube? Okay, so I started YouTube on the 19th of June 2014, and I feel like I kind of answered this in my last video, but I started YouTube because it was the one thing that I wanted to do. For literally years and years and years and years prior to um, me actually starting my channel, I wanted to create this YouTube channel. Um, little secret actually, I <laughs> I used to make videos before I had my channel. Like honestly, the amount of videos I must have made, I used to vlog. Um, kind of I suppose practice, but I just loved doing it and I knew I couldn't have a YouTube channel at that point so I used to just save them on my laptop and yeah, I probably still have quite a lot of them. Um, but I used to film on, I had a little um, pink netbook and I used to film on the webcam on that and th honestly the amount of videos I used to make, like I used to make so many so yes, I kind of wish I'd started my YouTube channel a long time before I did because I, like the time at the time I wanted to start my YouTube channel, YouTube wasn't really a thing, so I kind of felt a bit weird doing it. If you know what I mean, um, but yes, I started my YouTube channel because I really wanted to do it. It's the one thing I'd already started my blog the year before my YouTube channel, um, so yes, um, I knew YouTube was always the one thing that I wanted to do, and yes, um, I just wanted to be able to share contact with everyone and you know just kind of express myself through YouTube I suppose and um, also gain a lot more confidence as well that was the one thing I wanted to get out of it too. What was the reason you started your channel and how does that compare to why you make videos today? Okay when I first started my YouTube I feel like I was a very very shy 15 year old girl and um, I suppose I made videos then I kind of like First of all, I probably started out just to see what it was like, to see how the response was from, from people, um, you know, if this was definitely something I wanted to do. And now compared to today, like, I suppose I actually make content that I really, really love and that I want to do, and I'm much more confident now, so, like, I will kind of make any type of video, really. Um, but when I first started, I was kind of just, seeing what it was like, um, but now I know that I really, really love it, that I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable in front of a camera too. Okay, number three, what was the first video you ever uploaded to show us a clip? Okay, so the first video I ever uploaded was a what's in my bag. Um, I made that video because I just thought it was a kind of a good video to start off with. Um, like it was a good kind of all round, um, what's in my bags were quite popular, so I just kind of thought, that would be the video that I made first. Um, I had a little, it was like a satchel bag, I think. I actually don't know what that is now. Um, but yeah, I had that bag and I will show you a clip now, but please know I'm a lot, lot younger in it and also a lot shyer, so here you go. This is my bag. It's actually from a company, I think it's called Miss Cogill. Um, I've checked on the website and they don't have this um, there. I bought, I bought it, I didn't buy it, my parents bought it for me my birthday last year um, and I'm just, I've seen quite similar things recently so I'll put it below to the website though if you do want to go and have a look uh, but basically this is the bag, it's kind of like a satchel, it's like this um, 
and yeah I love it this is I kind of call it my summer bag um I do have like a black bag so I may do it what's my bag with but this is my main bag that I use now so I'm just going to quickly show you what the bag looks like so it's kind of this like hot pink colour um, with a kind of tan colour on the back and sort of around the bag and this sort of beige colour, do you call that? Um, there, it has a little handle here I don't often use this, I sometimes would put it like like that but most often I use the long strap like either sort of over my shoulder or just on my shoulder um, I find this really handy, you can adjust the size of the strap as well and you can also take the strap off if you wanted to which I think is a really good idea um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yes, mm, I, I I actually can't watch it. Like, you know, about the time that I'm editing this video and the fact that I'm gonna have to find that clip and I really don't want to watch it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was me when I was 15. <laughs> who was the first person you subscribed to? I'm actually not sure who the very very first person I subscribed to was because what happened was like I started watching YouTube like. Ooh, I want to say seven, eight years ago, possibly, probably eight years ago now. Oh, that's a long time ago. Um, yeah, and when I started watching, I didn't have a channel, so I didn't subscribe to people. I literally, like, my favourite YouTubers that I watched, I used to just go on their channel and see if they'd uploaded any new videos. Like, that's the way I had to do it. I used to save them my bookmarks and stuff like that. I didn't actually have a channel. I can subscribe to people, um, but when I did get a channel, I probably subscribed to like the main people first, like Zoe, Alfie, Louise, Marcus, those kind of people first, um, just because, you know, they were the ones who I watched on a regular basis. But the first people I actually ever watched on YouTube were ones like Sarah from S Walker Makeup. I think she was the first YouTuber I ever, ever watched. I really, really hope she comes back and makes some more videos soon because I, I absolutely love her videos and absolutely loved watching her videos. I think I've watched every single one of her videos. Um, people like Lollipop26, anyone remember her? Um, Laura, I think her name is. Um, Delphi Gorgeous Makeup, anyone remember her? I think her name is Natalia, I think. Um, yeah, she was people like that. And then obviously, like, I found Zoe and Louise and Alfie, like, I watched Zoe when, I've said this many times before, I have literally watched this and she had a couple of hundred subscribers, like, she literally didn't have a massive audience at all and now it's mad to think, like, where she is now, but, yes, I did watch her when, like, when she literally just started YouTube, so, yes, people like her, I think I found Louise through Zoe, I think, um, and then, obviously, I found... Alfie and Marcus together again, so I probably watched, I think I might have watched Marcus first, possibly, and Alfie through Marcus, I can't quite remember which way around I found them, but yes. Um, I also watched Pixie Woo, um, Sam and Nick, and then I found Tanya through Pixie Woo, if that makes sense, so yes, and then Jim, obviously. What is the most recent channel you have subscribed to? Okay, so recently, I don't know why, uh, because I'm not a mother, but for some reason I'm kind of loving people are like Emily Norris. I know they don't just do like baby videos and stuff, but um, I've been really loving like Emily Norris and the Meldrums, uh, Probably Memory of Two. Um, yes, they're the people who I've most really subscribed to. Um, yeah, for some reason I've just kind of been loving those videos. I kind of think it's through Louise, but yeah, been loving them. What is your least favourite video you have ever uploaded? Okay, so I have to kind of think about this because there are quite a few videos on my channel that I'm a I actually don't really like that much. Um, so I list off a few of them. <laughs> okay, I made a video uh, probably over now, two years ago, um, which is a primer comparison. And I remember filming that video and editing it and I just really did not like it. I don't know what it was about it, I just did not like that video and I still did it anyway, but like I'd probably redo that video. Sometimes I have actually refilmed, not many times at all, but I have I think once or twice refilmed a video because I just didn't like it. And um, I knew I could have included more points and stuff like that. So yes, <laughs> doesn't happen very often that there are times where you just have a video and you're like, don't like this at all. 
Um, <laughs> Um, I also made a video, and this might come to surprise to some people, called Staying Positive and Happy. Um, just because I I remember re-watching that video about a year ago, I'd say, and I just thought, oh my god, I could have done that video so much better, and I think like I may even redo that video, because like there were so many points I wanted to get across in that video, and I felt like I didn't, and now I know I could do that so much better. Like that was like way over three years ago now. Um, but yes, I just uh, it was a, a video that I really wanted to be good. And probably at the time I thought this is alright, but looking back now, no. <laughs> I also, when I very 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 first started, um, did a video like my prom makeup, which is really, really bad now. And it's just like, oh my, did I do that? <laughs> Um, I also like some of my few of my vlogmases, like videos in vlogmas that are a bit boring and stuff, so yes, but there are just a few. <laughs> what is your most popular video and why do you think that is? Okay, so my most popular video is my what's in my handbag with my Ted Baker shopper bag. Um, now, I made that video, um, it must have been two years ago, I think. I'll check. It was the 3rd of October 2016 and um, it has 4,707 views so far. Um, yes, I think that's my most popular video just because of the bag it is because, you know, if people like search like Ted Baker shop bag, whatever, my video probably comes up. So um, that is probably why it's the most popular. But yes, um, that's a bit mad that it has over 4,000 views. Um, never, like when I made that video, I never thought it would get that many views. Um, I never thought this is going to be my most popular video. I mean, you probably never do, but um, yeah, it definitely wasn't one that I thought would be. I knew what some of my bags were popular, but I never quite thought it would get that much, if that makes sense. Um, so I was quite a surprise when I could see the number going up and up like all the time. I'm just like, okay, no one else, you know, you can stop watching it now because it's not the best video that I've ever made. So I'm just like, mm. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> How many videos you have privated or enlisted? I actually have no videos on privated or enlisted. Um, if you don't know what enlisted means, I knew some people didn't know what that meant. Basically, it means it's not actually on your channel. Like, I can see them on my channel, but. Um, you can't like search for them, you have to have the link to the video. Um, but I actually don't have any videos privatised or enlisted just because um, I thought about putting quite a few videos on private, especially like some of my like first videos I have thought put in private because they are not that great. But then I thought it shows a progress of like how far I've come on my YouTube journey, so I'm just like <sighs> I won't privatise them, but I'm you know I might do in the future, I might put some on private, but for now I actually have none. <laughs> Show us 10 seconds of your least favourite private videos. As I said, I don't actually have a video which is on private, but I am willing to show you <laughs> 10 seconds of one of the videos I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm going to do, and um, this is a video called Current Beauty Phase, and this is literally, like, must have been way over three years ago now, let me check. This is on the 29th of June 2014, so enjoy. So. I'll start off with this foundation. This one's from Maybelline. This is the Super Stay Better Skin Foundation in this one's in 005 Light Beige. I've been loving this. Okay, okay. which YouTuber would you choose above the rest in your subscription box at the moment? Um, so basically, if everyone uploads at the same time, who would I go for first? Like which video would I watch first? At the moment, I have probably been drawn more towards number one, Louise, um, Louise Petland, mainly because, well, I love her videos anyway, and you, you all know that, but she is also very, very heavily pregnant, like, she is due, like, any moment, like, she may even be labour now, I haven't actually checked today, I was checking on social media to see whether there's been any updates, let me check. <laughs> nope, nothing. Um, she's not in labour, guys. Uh, she might be all the time this video goes up, but um, yes. Um, probably Louise to kind of check how she is and like, it's really exciting, isn't it? So yes, Louise. Um, also, I always, always watch Alfie's daily vlogs, so I probably watch them first, probably, of anything, because I literally watch them every day. Um, yeah, probably, but I would probably say Louise at the moment. I do, I'm loving vlogs at the moment though, 
really really loving vlogs who would be your dream collaboration <sighs> now if i'm talking youtuber i would probably say i have two people mark ferris because i love mark you probably all know this story anyway but i'm going to tell it again <laughs> so um me and mark spoke to each other quite a long time ago probably like about roughly three years ago um, I think he followed me on Twitter and then like we spoke over DM um, basically just saying we were both YouTubers and like basically checking out each other's channels um, and ever since we spoke I subscribed to him and I absolutely loved his videos and then obviously we lost contact but um, yes I love Mark and I would love to film a collab with him because I think we're quite similar people so we would kind of just get on really well. I mean dream collaboration would be Mark and Zoe because they're hilarious together anyway so yes but yes Mark. If I'm talking celebrity 100% Adele. I love Adele. Would have to be Adele. <laughs> what was the hardest video for you to film? Um. I mentioned this again in my last video, it definitely 100% was the video that I did which was called Dealing With Grief because it was something that I, I don't find it necessarily hard to talk about but it is a hard topic to talk about I suppose in general like you know um, it's something that I've had to deal with myself and you know when you, especially when you're talking from your own experiences it, it is emotional it's hard to film a video like that but I'm so so glad I did because you know, if I at least just helped one person out there, like, I'm just so, so glad I did that video. Um, definitely, definitely was the harder video to film, but I am so glad I did it. Also, my body confidence and weight loss video, that was another one that was hard to film because, again, it was something that I didn't talk about that much just in my personal life, so, yes. If all your videos were but one were deleted, which one would you keep? It would be the body confidence and my weight loss story because I feel like like that it was one of my all time favourite videos uh, because I just feel like it would have to be a video that would help people because you know like I have my personal favourite videos that are on my channel I love like quite a lot of my vlogs and stuff but I feel like it would have to be if I had to choose one video it would be one that I want that could continue to help people so yes probably either my body confidence one or the dealing with grief video what is the best thing to have come out of creating a YouTube account? I think two best things. Number one, I have made quite a few friends from doing this and honestly, I didn't think that would ever happen. So that is amazing and you know to fact the fact that I've gained friendships from doing this is incredible. And also the confidence that I have now is like so so much more than when I started this and you know I think it is down to you know half of it is down to doing this and you know I'm really grateful for gaining that and also you know the opportunities that I've had you know the events that I've gone to stuff like that and um has now been in the media industry so yes um probably that last question is what piece of advice would you give to other youtubers okay so if you haven't started a YouTube channel yet and you wanted to, this is my one piece of advice. Make videos that you want to make. There is no point in sitting in front of a camera and talking about stuff that you don't want to talk about because it will come across on camera. It, it will show in videos when you really, really like talking about something and are really enthusiastic about that topic. So yes. Also, don't think about who's going to watch those videos because sometimes when you think about your audience like when you think oh this person might watch it this person might watch it then you start kind of tailoring your videos and I feel like that is not what you need to do like don't think about who's going to watch it because um yes because then you will start kind of changing yourself as well and that's not good um so yes that's that is my main advice really don't change for youtube don't change your personality for youtube be who you are because um I quite like that, like some of my friends sometimes watch my videos and say like you're the exact same like in person if that makes sense which is really nice to hear and like that's what I want to come across so yes 
Um, hope you enjoyed this video and maybe have learned a little bit more about me. I just quickly answer these questions, um, just kind of follow on from my previous video. And yeah, I just really wanted to tag basically. So yes, I tag all of you who have a YouTube channel to go and do this tag. Um, I'm going to tag one person in particular, which is my friend Bethan Horton. I tag you to go into this video. So yes, I think that is everything. Thank you again, Zoe, for creating this tag. And yes, um, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single week. I love you all lots. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye!